Hey guys, I'm back. Um, just one thing I forgot to mention in the previous tutorial. It's just one quick little gotcha that you know can catch people up if they don't know how to handle it. And that is simply this. If I come into the player profile component, and you can see here we have a heading first and then a profile details, right? What if, for example, somebody does something like this? Now, it's probably unlikely this is going to happen in this scenario, but what is this going to do to our application? Let's take a look. So, what's going to happen to this title? If I click LeBron. Hey, wait a minute. It's at the bottom. And I guess that makes sense because we put it at the bottom. What if we want to make sure, no matter where they put this, right, that this is always at the top? How do we do that? Well, let's have a look at what we've got so far inside of our Transclusion HTML file. At this point, we just have one NG content, right? So this NG content is taking into consideration both the heading. Oh, sorry. Close some of these. It's taking both into consideration the heading and the details section, right? So going back to the component, taking in both the heading and the details section. But because we only specify one NG content, it's reading it one after the other. Okay, that's the default behavior of Angular 2. However, we don't want that. We want people to be able to put this here if we want, if they choose to do so, right? And have it still rendered at the top. So how do we go about this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, what you end up doing is you create inside of the transclusion file. You, you create two um, ng contents. Uh, where is it? There it is. You create two of these. Right. And you might go, okay, but still, how does this help? If I run this now, what's it going to do? I know what it's going to do. If I click, it's only ever going to show the one still anyway, and it's still the wrong order. So it's like, okay, you've got ng content, I'm just going to ignore the second one. But I still want this up here, right? So, what you do is inside of the transclusion, uh, the transclusion component, the markup for that, you come in here and you provide a select attribute and you put the name of the template that you want at the top, right? The profile heading with that, and the second one, we had another select, and this can be profile details. Now, this select thing here, I'm not going to talk about everything you can do with it. You can look it up in the in the documentation, but now by using this, I'm saying if you find an element that says profile heading, I want you to stick it here. Otherwise, if it's a profile details, I want you to stick it directly under it. Okay, so you will always ensure that the heading is before the details in terms of ordering in the markup. So if I come back, now I've saved it. If I click on this now. So even though we put the heading at the bottom of the component now, it still always gets rendered at the top because we've added this select option. So that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. It was just something very quickly that I forgot. Um, that is, in fact, in the tutorial 19 Git if you want to look at it. Um, but I just wanted to cover it here so you guys had something to look at. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I um, just wanted to make a short one there. As I said, I've already mentioned what's going to be in the next video, which is the view in it and the view checked. And we'll get to that in a little while. Bye for now.